Hyper Spinners Ninja here again on some tutorials. I wanted to follow up with the prior video on uh, the randomizer um, setup, and uh, I think this follows suit nicely. Um, so today I'm going to talk to you about the Hyperspin startup script. Uh, think of this as the guts behind uh, Hyperspin. Uh, it will launch a number of apps uh, upon loading uh, your Hyperspin. Um, this is uh, particularly uh, helpful uh, with the nested uh, wheel setup that I've got. Um, basically every time you enter a new wheel um, level, um, it'll fire off um, these apps so it continues to uh, be seamless as you saw in my showcase video. Um, so let's get started. Uh, the startup script, uh, I'll provide a link in the description. Um, but uh, ghutch92 uh, did an outstanding job. All credits go to him. Um, all you've got to do is download uh, the file from Hyperspin. Uh, the documentation is uh, very deep. It's very good. Um, so take a moment to uh, read through the description um, on the page. Uh, but if you're like me, I like uh, seeing with my eyes a little bit. So I'll kind of talk through the structure of uh, what you're getting here. Um, so let's begin. So I've already downloaded the file. Uh, you can place this at any location um, on your Hyperspin drive or outside of it. I recommend within your Hyperspin uh, drive. Uh, I've got a tools folder. Um, I've just named it multiple programs in Hyperspin. Probably a bad name, doesn't matter. Uh, but when you unzip the file, um, you'll get these uh, files here. Uh, the Hyperspin Startup XE file. Uh, this is the thing that uh, is going to be launched um, every time, and it's going to read this uh, INI uh, file here. So I'm going to open up this INI file and uh, kind of talk through the setup here. Um, so basically, you're just putting the location, the file path of your Hyperspin and your uh, rocket launcher uh, paths. And everything below that uh, is pretty vanilla. Um, it comes uh, basically standard. Um, you can read through the documentation a little bit more, um, but I didn't change anything when it comes down to the controls here. Um, so I'm gonna scroll down here. This is the meat and potatoes. Uh, it's uh, pretty basic, but it's uh, basic is good here. Um, so we're at the startup section here, and this is basically uh, you're just identifying the programs that you're going to want to run um, and then what you're going to uh, you know where the path is for that XE and if you want it to uh, hide or not um, so the future tutorials that I'm going to uh, go through as well um, are basically each one of these um, so you can kind of mirror the setup that I've got here um, so I've got HyperSearch that's going to be running in the background. It's going to, um, you know, not be visible until you click it on the wheel. Uh, I've got the idle volume adjuster. Um, this is going to run basically after five minutes of inactivity, the volume turns down. Um, and then we've got um, basically an app that identifies the uh, PS3 controller. Um, uh, this is all minimized, so I, I wrote minimize here. Um, so you don't even see it. Uh, I use Joy2Key. Uh, this is particularly useful uh, for uh, uh, BlissBox. Uh, that allows you to plug in any controller into an HDMI, which is plugged into a, a USB essentially, and it works seamlessly. I strongly recommend uh, that, and we'll be talking through that uh, in a future tutorial as well. Um, and then we've got this run randomizer.bat. Um, if you guys remember in the prior tutorial on the randomizers, um, I had a uh, file that was a bat file. I'm going to pull it up here so you can uh, see it again here. But if we go to randomizer, I created this run randomizer.bat. You don't need this if you're um, going to use just the standard uh, hyperspin setup, but if you need the nested setup like I did, uh, you'll need to create a bat file. So since we're here again, uh, I'll just mention it. Um, to create a bat file, just uh, right click, new, and then uh, uh, text document. Uh, and essentially you're going to just um, type in 
I'm going to edit the, that file so you can see it. You're just going to type this in. Uh, start the file path. Make sure you put, uh, well, the drive, and then the file path. You're going to put in uh, quotations, and that's the location of that randomizer um, that we talked about in the last video. And then uh, hyphen ini colon dot slash random dot ini. So it's basically just going to call that. So once you go file, save as, um, you know, you, you can just save it as a, a dot text file first if you'd like, or uh, just change that extension to a dot bat. Uh, but, you know, you, you can create a bat file by just renaming the file. Uh, I don't want to do it to the INI there. Uh, so I'm just going to say bat file. I click off and it's going to say it's going to be unstable. Uh, it lies, it doesn't know. Uh, so that, that's a bat file. Um, so that's what that is, the run randomizer. I'll show you the uh, hyper HQ in a moment. Um, and then we've got this uh, no orphan, uh, or no tray orphan XE. So this is basically an auto hotkey um, script that I, I created to basically uh, kill all of these instances of these apps that are running in the background because uh, the nested uh, setup basically creates an instance of hyperspin uh, at each level. So I wanted to make sure that these apps weren't running like crazy in the background. Um, but th this is seamless. I'll post this on uh, uh, the description as well. Um, and that's that. So those are all the apps that I run on the back end of my hyperspin setup. Um, and you're going to see the next part of this script here uh, is the exit script. So it's basically a mirror image of uh, what we just talked through, but now we're closing things. So as hyperspin closes or the level um, on the nested wheel changes, um, these apps are closing. Um, the no tray orphan um, XE here, um, that, that's just an annoyance maybe for me. Um, you guys might notice like when you go down to the system tray, you're gonna see these icons that populate here. If you just kind of hover over it, they disappear. I didn't want to do that. Um, I just wanted the thing to to be clean. Um, so yeah, it's a bug on Windows 10 or even Windows 7 for that matter. Um, so anyhow, uh, the exit scripts, uh, same sort of thing. Um, I've got the name of the item that is going to be closed um, and the, um, the target in the directory. Um, everything's um, identified here um, that we just talked about. The hyper search is being closed. The path is for hyper search is here. And we just do that again for each one of the apps. So it's pretty self-explanatory, uh, pretty easy to set up. If you wanted to add more apps, um, you essentially just uh, copy uh, the block of text. You see the, uh, oh, well, I've got something I can fix here, but I don't think it matters. Uh, it's just an identifier here. But you can see that what I did is I copied uh, the prior bulk of text here. Um, and then you could just paste um, that again and then just change the identifiers. I'll do that here since we're here and I like a, a clean setup here. So I'm gonna change that to 15, 15, and 15. Uh, again, it doesn't matter. Um, it's just uh, to tidy up the system there. So if I were to add another app to close, I would just copy that, paste it below, and then type 16 uh, for each uh, time here. Um, so now we're going to the roulette. If you, know, if you guys like those options, um, you know, the, the buttons on hyperspin, you can basically uh, control the volume um, using a uh, button press. Uh, these button presses are identified in the description of the download uh, that will be provided um, in the link uh, below. Uh, you can also do the roulette um, where you push a button and it just spins for a, a few seconds, uh, you know, based on the parameters that you put on here, milliseconds, um, and then it'll stop randomly. Um, and then we've got quick launch. So you'll need this for um, particularly the aim track. I've got two aim track controllers um, and this troubleshooter XE is basically a, a way to call 
um, those light guns and uh, read them. Um, so this quick launch is basically saying uh, launch the Amtrak uh, program uh, behind the scenes and uh, um, you know be ready for the those guns. Um, and then I also have the call for the uh, No Tray Orphans XE. Um, I'll put the file in the description uh, so you guys can use it as an example. Um, if you were to change it, you would just change the file pass and maybe some of the, the programs here. Um, but in terms of the keys, the roulette key and the volume menu key, um, you would select those you know, for your liking. I use uh, you know, button one. Um, you know, if you wanted to use button two uh, on your keyboard, you would just put two there, keep the tilde there. Uh, I use uh, volume for button five. Um, and that's uh, a long-winded uh, explanation of that startup script. It, it is important, and I wanted to kind of go through that um, because it, it controls the behind the scenes for that nested uh, wheel that I've got set up. Um, so as I promised before, um, yeah, I want to save that. What I promised before, um, HyperHQ, um, you're going to see that um, when you go to main settings um, under the startup uh, exit tab, uh, you're going to see that my startup script is here and the parameters is XE and my exit program is um, my main menu changer, which I'll have a future tutorial on uh, that uh, when I, I feel like it makes sense. Um, well, we're getting close. Um, so yeah, if, if you had the, uh, just the randomizer itself, you could put in the uh, randomizer path here and uh, uh, you'd have, you know, randomizer.exe here. And then your parameters would be uh, one here. Um, so that's all there is to it. That is the startup script. I'll kind of um, boot up my uh, system again, uh, just to kind of show things off. Uh, the randomizer, you'll hear hyper uh, speech, you'll hear hyper search, or you'll see hyper search. Um, I'll do a quick, quick view again. Uh, so also notice this might have been the first intro video with the last video, uh, that randomizer doesn't actually randomize until you actually load into a wheel itself. So good to have you, you back, just, retro gamer. Up, up, down, down. Hyper search. If you just um, pull a hyper spin and then Response. close it, that randomizer Favorite won't systems. actually happen. Loading. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate that randomizer is actually working. So I'm okay. opening up any sort of wheel. Hyper search. And then I can go back. And when I close Hyperspin, you're going to notice that Tron video oh. uh, will not be there. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll see. Uh, let's keep me honest here. So I just closed Hyperspin. I'm going to reopen it here. So there you go, new video. Just gonna go ahead and skip it by pushing a, a button that I've set. Introducing skip. hyperspin. Believe the hype. And uh, pick any old school system go. from the so wheel and get ready to travel right back now. in time. I've oh. customized a number of random uh, Choose from a intro list of all systems uh, supported scripts, regardless of category. Game on. So Classic yeah, that's arcade. that's all there is to it. Um, you know, hopefully you guys are following. I know it's a lot, um, a lot of technical jargon, um, but I promise you guys can do this. Get ready. Uh, Get set. So Game please on. like and subscribe. Uh, we'll see you at the next video.